So Season of the Witch is here and it's time for 10 new tips that will help you out in this season. First off, weapon leveling can never be easier. Don't need to go to Shirachi anymore. Just craft your weapon in the Enclave, go into the weapon, then spend cores and glimmer. Easy, easy, not too expensive way to level up your weapons easy. For the next tip, there are chests within the Savathun Spire that give you additional loot week over week. For this first week, the first one is after you get through the first encounter and you go up the elevators that take you up further into the encounter, you'll go into a hallway and shoot with Void and Solar these targets and you'll be able to get the chest. For the second chest, it's further on the encounter, it's before you get to the boss. And again, you're going up through some elevators, going up through the encounter, and you'll see there are four targets that are right near each other before the final boss. Within the new Altars of Summoning activity, one thing that you can do is that you can use sparrows in between the different altars. This is really useful if you're trying to race ahead to make sure you get to put your offering in you want first for other people. So again, if you need it, use it. Another tip is I know folks are trying to get XP as quickly as possible. And obviously in my videos, I talk about how you get XP as quickly as possible. But if you're saving up bounties from the previous season, or if you have bounties you've already picked up, make sure that you're in a fire team of at least one more person who is not in orbit. And if you look on your character, you'll see in your inventory, you'll see a shared wisdom buff. If you have that, turn your bounties in, you get an additional buff for doing that. In one of the encounters in altars, you'll notice that there are the totems that you see, think about like Crota's End, like the totems that if you don't stay on them long enough, they actually wipe your fire team. They don't do this in, in this case, but to advance encounters, it's always asking you to do something with burden and you're like, what do I do? Uh, the burdens are actually things that drop off the enemies that you're killing. They'll look like a moat. You pick them up and you'll see that you have a burden on you. Go over to those totems. And at that point, you'll see advance from zero to one to two to three. That's how you advance the encounter. One thing that can be confusing is that Bungie has actually done a lot of tinkering with its vendor system this season. And you'll notice that within your whole list of cards, you're trying to get these major arcana cards because if you get five of those, they give you an ability to get a buff during some of the encounters. Well, to do that, you actually need to go into your whole deck and actually click on the major arcana that you've uncovered, which will give you a quest that you have to do. That'll actually unlock that ability. The actual vendor itself in the next tip is that typically you get like different upgrades where you can get like a guaranteed red, uh, red site border or you can get like a guaranteed high stat armor, stuff like that. That's been in different seasons. Do that this season, it's all with cards. So just continue to play encounters, right? Get those cards and those are what actually allow you to get those upgrades on your seasonal vendor. The other thing that might be a little confusing is that the exotic mission rotator is back, but you might not know where it's at because it's not clear in the game where to go. Actually go to the legends area, just like where you get the, the raid rotation and the dungeon rotation, that's where you get the exotic mission rotator, which this season is Presage, Vox, and Seraph Shield. And the final tip, guys, is that if you enjoy these tips, if you really like them, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. One of the reasons I do a ton of tips and tricks videos, if that's the sort of thing you're into, we have videos that are almost up at 200,000 views. So again, very popular. I sometimes give tips and tricks that other content creators don't put out there because they may see obvious for the higher end player. So again, as a part-time guardian, that's where I cater to. If you like the video, feel free to like it, subscribe to my channel, jump my Discord, and I'll see you guardians in the tower.